and though we are not going to divulge any further information than what we have today, uh, if you have any questions, we're happy to take those. Yes. Yeah. So, how important was this case for you as you're headed into retirement? Well, I mean, it really has nothing to, it's not about me. Uh, I think that any case where a child is lost is of the utmost importance. Um, any case where somebody's been injured is the utmost importance. I am have been uh, fervent in my um, work around gun violence and curbing gun violence. We have published gun reports about our community. We have done public, uh, public awareness campaigns to remind people to lock up their guns if they owe them, if they own them legally. Uh, and so for me, the fact that this case has been solved, thankfully, by the hard work of the California uh, Highway Patrol and my office working closely in collaboration also with the Department of Justice, is critical to bring these individuals to justice. Uh, we know that one individual has already been killed since this happened and more gun violence. So for me, as I leave uh, being the district attorney, I don't leave being a member of the community and I will continue to fight gun violence, I will continue to fight for victims' rights, and I will continue to make sure that uh, as much as we can that any family, no family has to ever suffer what the Wu family has suffered in the loss of their loved one. Yes? Is there uh, any statement or any uh, thing that the public should know about the state of highway shootings? given that there are uh, shootings that have been investigated as homicides here in addition to uh, uh, in the city of Oakland. I think what you see uh, on, the, on the highways is reflective of what you see in society in general. Um, but I am confident that we have the ability and dedication and resources to solve all those crimes that are possible to be solved. Does that answer your question? Yes. Can you speak to how hard it is to, to investigate these highway shootings? I know that it has recently become a thing. It's yeah, it is difficult, um, but our detectives are up for that challenge. Um, there are often, often uh, evidentiary issues that come about. There are uh, issues related to witnesses uh, being involved or not being involved. So those things are all are a challenge. Um, this case was a challenge. And I think what's most important to take away from today that this case was uh, unlike any other in that there was a child involved, but it's not unlike any other in that we investigate each and every case fully uh, and to the best of our ability. And um, we're happy this one worked out the way it did. I know you guys have been putting in uh, cameras or have started a campaign with that. Were there any cameras at this uh, area? There are some items, evidence in the case that I'm not willing to discuss at this time, and they'll come out at the appropriate time in the trial. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm curious. You mentioned the shell casings. You mentioned the cars and also the um, residue, the gunshot residue. Was there one thing that was sort of the key for you guys to be able to sort of crack this case and identify those four people? Like, I, I don't mean to be... Uh, combative or argumentative, but there are a lot of details that I'm just not willing to release at this time. I think the most appropriate venue for that is the courtroom. Can you speak to if the major turning point was after those images of the possible suspect vehicles were released earlier um, this year by your department? I will say this, that oftentimes in an investigation, we have a lot of information that we don't necessarily always release, and there are reasons for that. Um, not speaking about this particular case, but um, I wouldn't draw any inference from the timing of that release with anything else. Yes, ma'am. So it's been over a year since the killing of Jasper Wu. What took so long? Again, uh, there are a lot of investigative steps that need to occur. Oftentimes, quite often, frankly, we know uh, what happened. And I think this is true in, in a lot of cases that the DA sees, not just from the Highway Patrol. But proving that case beyond a reasonable doubt in court and providing that case to the district attorney so that they can file charges and get a conviction is what we're after. And that takes time. And I think 
um, it, it's a testament to the hard work that our detectives did that it didn't matter if it was 13 months or 13 years, we were going to find justice for, uh, for this family. Do you believe that you have all the suspects involved in this crime? Yes, we do. Why are you so sure of that? Uh, 13 months of investigation have led us to believe that now. Anything else? I mean, any, anybody else from those gangs that, you know, did you guys work with anybody from those gangs to bring those suspects forward? Again, I think that's too much to divulge at this time. Those, all, those in, all that information will come out in the trial. I think that's the most appropriate venue. I think the district attorney said there was two individuals that were out on, or that were on probation at that time um, of the incident. Uh, do we know what they were on probation for? And did you want to speak to that? I don't have that information with me here. Uh, they were um, both on probation, but more importantly, they have been convicted of felony crimes. Um, and that's why this the section is charged the way it is. I will say one last thing in that in this particular case, and we hope in all cases, that there were people who were on the freeway at the time the shooting occurred or the shootout was going on. And people called and gave descriptions. And that's critically important for law enforcement especially at or near the time. Obviously not putting themselves in harm's way, but calling and letting law enforcement know what they're witnessing, license plates or cars or just the activity is really beneficial and leads, uh, goes far in helping to solve these crimes. Yes. What's your message to all the other families who are also waiting for a press conference like this because their loved ones were also killed on freeway? Well, I would say that, um, you know, unfortunately, we're, we're in a period of time right now where gun violence is escalating and violence itself is escalating. But I can tell you also that law enforcement, all of the law enforcement partners that we work with, and especially those that worked on this case, are working tirelessly. They, it's, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot. The cases need to be investigated, as you just heard, to the extent that we can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the people we're charging with the crimes is actually, are actually guilty. And that is a high standard for good reason. But the police are working tirelessly. And you know, you, you've seen over the last couple of weeks and last couple of months that there are some really horrific crimes that occurred that working closely with my office and with law enforcement that we've been able to solve and then file charges against those individuals responsible. So I would say the last thing is we don't give up. We don't give up. And, you know, we have like even, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, DNA involvement and crime scene analysis involvement and a lot of advancements being made in forensics. And I can assure you that watching our police partners, our law enforcement partners work so tirelessly on and using all the tools available to them to continue to try to bring these, all of those cases to justice. Uh, Carl, I'm curious from the Wu family, when they learned that this case had been cracked, what was their reaction? How did they take it? Yeah. Uh, interesting enough, actually, uh, we were talking quite a bit time when they uh, uh, learned about this press conference. And in fact, earlier we talked, you know, just you know, before you know, we met with uh, Nancy and, 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 and everybody. Uh, it was, uh, for them, mixed feelings. First things first, they were very happy and excited to see that there's a press conference talking about their case. And, but at the same time, they feel that they are bringing back the memory of day one of what happened on the freeway. So uh, that's exactly, you know, uh, they, are, they are calling it, it's kind of a mixed feelings. But they also want to share with everybody that at some point uh, when this happened, they would never believe, never believe that there will be a day they are having this press conference. And they also want to uh, actually share with me that uh, during the entire ordeal, all these investigations, um, the, uh, you know, the investigators, you know, from Highway Patrol uh, been keeping up the information with the family. And 
but of course there's certain information they, they could not get, but they're saying that they're working on it. And at some point, they thought that it's about time to give up. But then when they hear about this, they were so, so excited, again, excited, happy, but also very sad. So I know that the family had, had a fair share of crying again. But, uh, but one thing they would love to see is to bring closure to the family. Oh, I almost forgot that they actually what I want to say. There were so many people have given them the support, uh, GoFundMe and the entire community and pretty much everyone. And it's not about that, just say, you know, I, I, you know, I, I'm very sorry about you. They wrote many messages, they sent cards, they sent letters, they sent, you know, information and give them, uh, you know, the family the biggest support uh, that they, they can receive. So with that, I just want to make sure that for those they, they are, uh, you know, really in giving the big support for the family, again, they want to say thank you. I will um, add that when there's a when there's a crime, a violent crime, then my office uh, provides support initially and assist with funeral costs and things like that. And the district attorney's office, victim witness division, will stay in support of Jasper's family, letting him know when the court dates, and and for all victims of crime, letting him know when the court next court date or other events that are happening, um, so that if the family chooses to be there they are able to be there with support.